This is Gemara Niyavamba Zadav Chov Zayin. All the learning should bring an incredible Zchoshuch Mir Zashem to Yisrael Chaim and Devar Hashem and Chai Oyvim and Eli Shem and Libi Zahav. The learning Zayin Chabura should bring incredible Yeshuos as well as Chosfur Shlema of Shmuel Yosef and Afraid the Shmuel and Tila Nafzal Dimir Chlaster Nachama Bas Ariva Bashava Vega Bashira Chana Beisoyich Shar Chayli Yisrael. We're holding on the bottom of Chav Avavim and Beis. In the last year, we began the third parak here in Misachas Yavamis, and yesterday we can. Concluded with the Shita of a Rav, as the top of the Amid said, Omar Rav Barav Huna Omar Rav. In the following case, let's just go back to the case for a moment. When we have five brothers, that's how you get to the case. But of course, you could have this case in many permutations. But you have five brothers, and when three brothers who are married to three sisters die, what happens is Rav taught us that it will depend whether they died bivas achas or whether they died bezacherze. If all the brothers died at one time, then they will felt the Yibam at the same time. Then the moment they felt the Yibam, none of them were eligible to do Yibam. Why? Because Achais is Ziku Kasai. And then we learned that the Din would be Chalitza Psula. What's a Chalitza Psula? The word puzzle Rashi taught us yesterday meant Chalitza Gruah. It's a weak Chalitza. Why is it a weak Chalitza? Because there was no potential for Yibam. When we have a potential for Yibam and instead of actualizing that potential we go and we do Chalitza, that's a Chalitza Ma'alia. That one person can do that chalitza, says Rav, and that chalitza will act for everyone. But says Rav, if the chalitza is a chalitza gruah, it's a chalitza that cannot be born from a yibam. There was no potential from yibam. Then says Rav, the chiddish, the chalitza, psula, sarach, lachzir, alkol, ho'achin. And that's the din of Rav. We saw it played out in this case which we said Rachel and Rivka both are going to require one chalitza because it was Bezachar Zeh, who was one after another that when the first one died, Ruvain was able to do Yibam and therefore the chalitza that Ruvain did is chalitza Ma'alia and then when the next one dies, Shimon as well could have done Yibam and therefore that's a chalitza Ma'alia because again there's not a chalitz chalutza site to either Ruvain or Shimon because they didn't do anything and then finally when Yisachar dies and Rivka falls to Yibam both to Ruvain and to Shimon. Now both Reuven and Shimon already did Chalitza, so it's going to be a Chalitza Grua, Chalitza Psula, because they're not able to marry Rivka because it's a Chalitza Chalitza, so the sister of the woman they did Chalitza too, and therefore in that case, Chalitza Psula, Sarklach, Sarklach, and the Rivka would have to go and go and get Chalitza from both Reuven and Shimon. Why? That's the Klal of Rav, the Chalitza Psula, Sarklach, Zir, Alkol, Achin. And now says the Gemara, that is Raf. But Ushmuel Amar, three lines on the bottom of Chavav and Mebeis, Echad Chaylitz Likulam, one Chalitza suffices for everyone. Says the Gemara, let's understand this. Mechli, Shamin, Leil Shmuel, the Amar Chalitza Ma'al Yabinan. We know that Shmuel says, similar to Rav, that you need Chalitza Ma'al that you need a good Chalitza, Chalitza that could have, that came from a place that you could have done Yibom. How do I know that? The Amar Shmuel, Shmuel says as we turn over to today's daf. Daf Chav Zayin Amalif Cholat La Chayoyis Lo Nifteruz Arois. Shmuel says that if one does chalitza. In a case of sisters, the tsarois are not pattered. Why are they not pattered? Because it was not a case of a potential yibam. And therefore, but if, and we'll see in a moment the case that Shmuel is talking about, but if there would be a potential yibam, then the chalitza would batter. Hecha de kaima chalitza de shimin, chalitza kashira, chalitza lam. Ruvain, Chalitza Psula. So says the Gemara, how does that work? When the second, in our case, when the second sister falls to Reuven and Shimon, after Reuven and Shimon already did a Chalitza, so what type of Chalitza is this now, as we explained in a moment ago? This is a Chalitza Ruya. So says the Gemara, Chalitza Ruvain, Chalitza Psula. How could this work? Let's see the picture to make this hopefully as clear as possible. This is Shmuel Shmuel says, Cholitz la chayos, loy nifteru tsarois. Says Shmuel that when you do chalitza to sisters, it does not 
Panther up the Tzaris. Why not? So if you look at the bottom over here, when Shimon and Levi die, Shimon and Levi are not married to sisters, Rachel and Leah, and they also have another wife, Bill and Zilpah over here. So the question is, when Shimon and Levi are nifter, what happens to these four women? So the answer is, Rachel and Leah are achayis zikukasai. That is a stronger iser, and Bill and Zilpah is a weaker iser. And everyone's wondering, strong and weak iser, who spoke about strong and weak iser? We yesterday in the sheet of Rav and the Akdama today, we explained it doesn't have to be stronger week. It has to be, is there potential for Yibam or not? So what's going on over here is, as uh, Rabbi Dafa Chaim points out, really you cannot do Yibam to any of them. Midr So you can't do Yibam to any of them Midr So now Shmuel says, it's not a matter of can you do Yibam or not. You can't do Yibam. But on what level can you not do Yibam? How difficult, how strong is the Isser preventing you from doing Yibam? That's going to be a similar application of Chalitza Psula, Chalitza Ma'alia, Chalitza grew a week. Chalitza Ma'al, you strong. It's not going to be Chalitza Psula weak coming from a place of no Yibam. Chalitza Ma'al, you strong, come from a place of Yibam. No, what it's going to be is Chalitza Gruya weak, Chalitza resulting from a strong Isser. We'll call it an, uh, a big Isser, an Achai Ziku Kasai. But when it's not such a strong Isser, the Tsara of Achai Ziku Kasai the co-wife of the sister of the Zika, not such a strong Yisr, then Shmuel says, in that case, it would be better to do Chalitza. That would be a Chalitza Ma'aliyah. Again, if it's a weaker Yisr, it's a better Chalitza. If it's a stronger Yisr, it's a weaker Chalitza. That is the din of Shmuel, and that is the Kasha of the Gemara, that the Gemara is bothered that according to Shmuel, that this is what Shmuel holds, how could Shmuel in our case have said that Echad Chaylitz Likula, one of them does Chalitza to all of them. We should have a similar issue, explains the Gemara, my Echad Chaylitz Likula, Nami de Gamar, I am Soyis, what did, excuse me, here we go. What did Shmuel mean? We're on the fourth line of Chavzayin and Aleph. When Shmuel said one can do Chalit at all, them, he was referring to the middle, quote unquote, sister, the third sister. So he's agreeing that in our case, if Reuven does Chalit to one and Shimon does Chalit to one, the third sister, which in our picture was Rivka, Rachel and Rivka. Rivka is going to require Chalitza from both. The Emsayis, the third one, is going to require Chalitza from both. Ask the Gemara, technical problem, Vakulon Kamar. But Shmuel says that one Chalitza, that he, excuse me, Shmuel says, Echad Chalitza Likulam. He has to Chalitza to all of them. And here it's not all of them, because he's only doing Chalitza to two of them. Kim the Ruba Gabe Karle Kulan, it's Rav, it's called all of them. Iba Yisema Secondary, it's Kikam or Shmuel Chalitza Ma'al Yab Inan. Secondary is almost more fundamental, goes within the din of Shmuel. When did Shmuel say that you need a good Chalitza on Emili? Le Niftar Sarasa. Shmuel's din, when you needed a good chalitza or a bad chalitza, wasn't in a vacuum. It was when the good or weak chalitza is coming to do something else. There's another woman over here. There's a tsara, the co-wife, the unrelated wife, and we have to take care of her. So when did Shmuel say you need a good chalitza? That's when you're coming to exempt and remove the zika from the tsara, from the co-wife. Avil mitra nafsha. Potter, but when it comes to they themselves, then it always works. And that is how we answer up the text of Shmuel. That when Shmuel said, Echad Chaylitz Likulan, says the Gemara, he's really referring to the third wife, in which she's going to have Chalitza be done by both of them, just like Rav, just like Rav said. Now says the Gemara, but there is a Machlikas, of course, Brewing over here between Rav and Shmuel, and now we're going to go a bit deeper into the Shita of Shmuel. Gufa, Amar Shmuel. As we explained, that Shmuel goes into the relation not between a potential Yibum, which results in a Chalitza Ma'alio, good Chalitza, but rather a weaker Iser is going to 
is going to result in a better chalitza. So chalitza, chalitz la'achoyo, he said, do chalitza to the sisters. And the sisters, we said, is a stronger iser achay zikukasai, therefore resulting in a weaker chalitza. That chalitza will not have the power to remove the zika from the tzarais. Chalitz the tzarais, but if he did um, the tzarais, then it will be nifter chalitzais. Chalitz la balas, I get. Now, a similar case, Ishmael. If someone does chalitza to one, who he gave a get to, Loi Nifteru Tzara. Litzara, though, Nifteru Baal's a get. We'll explain this a little bit better when we see a picture. Chalas the Baal's Hamaimer, Loi Nifteru Tzara, Litzara Nifteru Baal's Maimer. So says the Gemara, a very similar application. Here you see a case, you have Reuben and Shimon. Shimon has two wives, Bila and Rachel. And what happens is, is that when Shimon dies and his two wives fall, a Liyibam to Reuben, Reuben goes and gives a get to Bila. Or Reuben goes and does a Maimer. Maimer being Kedush in the Rabbana, meaning he does something. He doesn't do Yimar Chalitza. He does something. Now the question is, well, does that something do something or not? So says the Gemara, if Reuven went and gave a get to Bila, now the halacha is that the Chalitza that Reuven's going to do to Bila is a weaker Chalitza. Why is it a weaker Chalitza? Because the connection is a weaker connection for the fact that he gave her a get already. And the get at some level is going to sever some level between Reuven and Bila. Similarly, if Reuven did a mimer, as well, it's not going to bother, and as well, it's going to be a chalitza, psula, a weak chalitza. Now, what's the difference? Weak chalitza, strong chalitza, the difference is, it's going to potter up the tzara. So says the Gemara that if Reuven does this chalitza to either Bila, in either the case that he gave her a get, or the case that he did a to her, it's a weak chalitza, thereby what? It does not have the power to potter to exempt the co-wife Rachel. But if he did it to Rachel, it's going to be a chalitza ma'alya, a strong chalitza that will have the power to exempt Bilah. Now the Gemara explains, my is tzaris. Why? Where did this all come from? Why when it came to the sisters? In the case of the sisters, when they were all achayis and ziku kasai, it did not have the power. It was a weak chalitza, it didn't potter up the tzaris. You know why? Da'avalu achayis isha bezika. Says the Gemara, I don't understand. What's the difference? One's Achais Isha, one Saras Achais Isha. They're both Isuri Derabanan. So why would one be weaker? It's true in levels. It's, it's, it's a drop lo- lower, a drop higher. But they're both Isuri Derabanan. So why does one yes exempt and why does one not exempt? Explains the Gemara, because of Shmuel ain't Zika. Shmuel holds, there's no Zika. Says the Gemara, really? Just like we said by Raf. But says the Gemara, if it's true that there's no Zika, so then if there's no Zika, why doesn't it bother up the co wife? Explains the Gemara. That makes sense. But the co-wife of Leah should be battered. Why not? We'll see a picture in a moment, I think. The Rachel is going on, the Tzara of Rachel particularly. Let's just finish up the word game before we understand. Again, another word issue. If that's true, then the next statement of Shmuel says that if he does Chalitu with the co-wives, the sisters are exempt. Vatsaras Rachel mi mifter. Is that true? Vatanan also adam mitsaras kreva chalutzasai. Actually, let, let, let's pause that for one moment. We ran a little bit too fast. Here is the case in which we are discussing that says Shmuel. That says Shmuel, and I think this is. The wrong case. This is the wrong case. Yes, this is the wrong case. This is Viter. This is completely Viter. And we do not have a picture for what we just read. So let's go back and let's try. I thought we had a picture. Apologies. Let's go back and let's explain it in words. Says the Gemara, first of all, the Divir Aymer ain't Zika. Shmuel's going according to the Manda Amar, ain't Zika. So the, bar, the Gemara now is bothered. So why when they do Chalitza to the Achayos, doesn't it patter up the Tzarais? If there's no Zika, so then any level of Chalitza the Gemara is asking should work. The Gemara asked, answered as follows. That, let's assume that the first sister 
is Leia, and the second sister is Rachel. So now, Bishlam and Sarah, the Rachel, and they said that the Rachel's co-wife, you know, let's, let's at least get up the picture of what we're talking about over here. Yeah, here we go. Bishlam, it makes sense that Rachel's co-wife, which is Billa, that makes a lot of sense. They keep the Chalza, the Leia, the Chalza, the Rachel, since they first did Chalitza to Leia, and then it did to Rachel, so that's Chalitza to Rachel, Chalitza Psula, that's a wee Chalitza. Why is it a wee Chalitza? Because it was already a chayt chalutzasa, and therefore you couldn't do yibam. And therefore, Shmuel is going to say that the weaker chalitza is not going to bother up the co-wife. But the Gemara was bothered that why Tzara de Leia over here, when Leia got chalitza first, why is in Zilpa? Why is in she patterned because of the chalitza done to Leia? If we're holding right now that there's no Zika, so if there's no Zika, then what should happen over here is Ruved's chalitza to Leia should pat up Zilpa says the Gemara. What did it mean? Like Nifter with Sarais, it meant only Sarais to Rachel. It's a, it's a, it's a tremendous Chiddush answer in words. That the Gemara is answering that it really depends which Chalitza Ruvin does first in this case. That if Ruvin goes, actually, this it's probably easier to look at the first picture. There's no words in it. If Ruvin goes and Ruvin does Chalitza to Leia, says the Gemara, Leia Sarah Zilpa is patterned. I it's a chalitza psula. It's a weak chalitza. Why is it a weak chalitza? We said the reason being because Rachel and Leah are achay chazuku kasai. They are related, a strong relationship, and therefore the chalitza is weaker. If the chalitza is weaker. How does it pater up the tzara that says the gemara? Because ain't zika. Shmuel doesn't know there's a real collection. When it said that it didn't pater, that was going on. Rachel was going on that when the chalitza to Leah did not pater up Rachel because. Because of Achais Ziku Kasa, and the Gemara says Saris means Sara de Alma. Now let's go back. Iachi says the Gemara. Let's go back up three lines. Iachi asked the Gemara. So the Gemara basically said that we could fix up the wording. Now let's continue. Iachi, if it's true that when we're now saying that when it says Sara, it doesn't mean all the Tsarais, it means only to Rachel's Chalas Litsarais and Nifteru Achayais. Then when the Mishnah continued, the Bryce of Shmuel said that if you do Chalitza on the Tsara, the sister is patterned, but Sara has Rachel me Nifteru. So if the word Sara is going on Rachel, that first wife, says the Gemara, is that true? Is the Sarah of Rachel really patterned? Vatanan, but we learned in the Mishnah, Asr Adam et Sarah's Kravis Chalut Sasai. That is not true. Your Asr to the Sarah of the Achois, the sister or the Kraiva of the Chalut Sasai. Explains the Gemara, Shmuel Nami, Hezchel, Velo Hezchel, Kamar. Says the Gemara, you know what's going on over here? Shmuel's discussing a case when he began or he did not begin, let's understand what that means. If he began with Achayos, if he began Chalitza with the sisters, with either Rachel or Leah, then Lo Yigmar Bitzaris. Then he cannot do anything to the Tzaris like we just said, because it's also to Kroivas Tzaris Achalutzasai. Ditinan, as we learned in the Mishra, Isar Adam Bitzaris Kroivas Achalutzasai. But Hezchel Bitzaris Let's say, what did he do? He didn't go to Rachel or to Leah. He went to Bill or to Zilba. He started with the co wives and then. Yigmar then he could complete it with the sisters. How do I know that? And that is how the Gemara is explaining the sheet of Shmuel. It's true that in, uh, we'll call it in the words, it's a little bit difficult, but that is the chilek that the Gemara is saying. Ravashi Amar says, Ravashi, a second way of explaining Shmuel. Really, it's like you thought originally. And the reason being that the Zika is not strong enough to make the Tzara like an Arava, and that is the reason why there will not be the, 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 excuse me, that they're not equal. They're not equal. Now we're going to bring a raya to this, and through the raya, hopefully we'll understand. What's the raya? Tiny goes into Ravashi. Cholaz la chayos, leinif to tzaris. Someone does chalitza to the sisters, the tzaris are not patr. This should sound familiar. Cholaz tzaris, but to the kowais, nif to chayos. If they do chalitza to the kowais first, then the tzaris, the sisters are patr. My time, la misham dixavri yishika. 
And is the reason being simply that we're holding that there is Zika. So we're switching tracks right now. Until now, we were going within Shmuel and Zika. Says Gemara, now no, really, yes, Zika. But the Zika is not strong enough. Just like Ravashi answered, says the Gemara in Orayo, Ramamal, Amani, Beishamai. Remember Beishamai? All the way back from Daf Beis. Beishamai that argued on the whole pre- pretense of the Chamish Asi Ervois. Beishamai that argued that when an Ervo does not bother. Beishamai, Matiri, Natsaroi, Sachin. Beishamai says it's Mutter. Yachi, Abuminami, Sabim. Says Mark, according to Beishamai, there's always heard all. So do Yibam. Explains the Gemara. Another sheet that we've seen. Rav Yechman Nuri the Amar Boy even attacking on the Tzari sheet. Chaltus Lami Sabamais. Rav Yechman Nuri said, "Let's make a Taikana, a Taikana to do Chalitz and Yibam." Meaning, you could do Yibam really. It's a special Taikana. Says Gemara. Really, Yibam or Mar? Let's make a link. Mar is a Davar Hashem. If to rule the says Gemara. But one minute, we know it didn't work. We saw many Davim ago. The Rav Yechman Nuri tried to make this Taikana, but he didn't have the time. Amar Rav Nachman Bar Yisak Achar Rav Chazur would take news. So interestingly enough. That here on Dav Chav Zayin, we learn the end of a story to a story in which we learned where was this? This was uh, da, da, on Dav Tes Vav. That here on Dav Chav Zayin, we learn that indeed Chazru Vitiknu, at the end of the day, they did go and they were able to make this Takano. Says the Gemara. That is Shita Shmuel, and now we continue of Ibayilaho a new Shaila as we turn over to Chavzayin Abis. Balas Aget to Balas Amaimar Ezem Em Koydemes. Which one comes first? If you have a choice to give Chalitza either to Balas Aget, to this is going back in the case in which we saw again Reuven and Shimon, and Reuven gives a get to one of the wives, or after Shimon dies, of course, or Reuven does Maimer to one of the wives, then Reuven now has a choice. So Balas. I get about my Marizim M. Kaidamas, which one takes precedent? Says the Gemara. Balas, I get a diva. Why? Mishum da Askuba. Because Balas, I get you started already. Bechalitza. I do a Balas, my Maradiva, Mishum de Krevel Abia. Says the Gemara, interesting two different svaras. There are opposite svaras. What does a get do? A get distances yourself. So says the Gemara, if you have a choice who to do chalitza to, choose the one that you did a get to. Why? Because a get already, as we spoke out when we said this case in Shmuel, the get already started the severance process. It didn't complete it because you can't give a get in the case of chalitza, but at some level it started the severing, it distanced them. So what should you do? Continue that distancing to chalitza. Says the Gemara, no, or maybe you should do chalitza to one he did maimer to. Why? Because what does maimer do? Maimer is kedushin the rabbanon. Maimer brings them closer. So maybe now when you have a choice to chalitza, do to the one they are closest to. Misham maimer is a diva. Misham the krevi labia. You're the closest to potentially marrying that one. So which one comes first? When we have two women, one to do get and one to do. One that you did a get to, one that you did a get, one that you gave a get to, one that you did mimer to. Again, a simple case: Reuven and Shimon, Bill and Rachel. Any two women doesn't make a difference. Shimon dies, and Reuven goes and gives one again and does mimer to one. Now he has two chalitza. Who comes first? Those are the two sides of the coin. Explains the Gemara. Amr Ravashi four lines down. Chavzayim the base Hashema. Umayder Rav Gamliel shishket achar mimer. Umaymer achar get. Says the Gemara of Gamliel is Maida. You could either do get after mimer, mimer achar get. He get. So says the Gemara. He get all the if loylani maimer abasrei. He maimer all the if loylani get abasrei. Says my, I don't understand. If either get or maimer is greater, how can you do one after another? It makes no sense. El alav, what must Rav Gamliel be teaching me? Shema mina ki adadin and Shema mina is teaching me this din particularly that there is a new, no, not new. There is no. Neither one is greater, get a reminder on the exact same level, and therefore you can choose whichever one you want. There's no difference whether you're doing chalitza to the balas get or to the balas maimer. Oh my rav, oh no, my rav, a new case, 10 lines down. First one line is rough. Bez, achayos, yevamais. We have two sisters. Who are Yavama? His two sisters married to brothers and they died. Shanavla de Yavam, Echel, they fell in front of one Yavam. Chala, sorry, Shaina. Hotra, Chalza Shniya, Hotra, says the Gemara. If you did Chalitza to one, 
she's mother. You do chalitza to the second, she's mother. Mesa rishayna. If the one, the first one dies, mother bishnia, you can marry the second. Vein zarech leimer, mesa bishnia, mother bishnia. Why? B'shem dehav ye, v'amu shahotra, v'nesra, v'chazra, v'chotra, tahsra, l'hatera, harishayn. That is the first din, that is the din of Rav Huna Marav. Let's see the second din, and then I think this one we should have a picture for. Rav Yechanan Amar, mesa shnia, then mother bishnia. Why? My time, what's the aside of Rabbi Yechanan? You have to go in the timeline. When they fell to Yibam, at that moment, was it Yavama Yavayalea? If yes, then great. If not, if the moment of the feel, at the moment of death, you cannot have done Yibam, then what happens? Boom! I raise the Keishas actually shall bond him. If there was no potential Yibam, at the moment of death, it creates it as if there's an Isra Erva. It's as if it's a regular case of your brother's wife, as if there were children, meaning you cannot do Yibam, Ve'asura, and it's going to be Asur. So that is the Machlekes of Yechran and Rav. Rav says always oh, Mutter. Rav Yechran says no, it's only Mutter if at the time that they fell to Yibam, there was a Hatter. If the time they fell to Yibam, there was no Hatter, then at that moment it's created as if there were children, there'll never be a Yibam permitted afterwards. Again, before we see the picture, ask the Gemara of Rav Leslie Aisvara. How could Rav argue? Rav Yechla had a beautiful Svara, Yavama Yava Yalea. Seemingly teach me at the moment of Yibam, at the moment of Nefila, at the moment of death, is there potential Yibam or not? Ayvama Rav, Kolisha, Shein, Anikari, Baba Shazafil, Yavama Yava Yalea, Reiki, Shach, Shazabadim. Seemingly Rav agrees. How could Rav argue in our case? The Asura explains the Gemara. Honey, Mili Echad the Kaiba Apa Israel Chais Isha De Araisa. That case, Rav says, you know what? I agree. When there's a potential Isser De Araisa, that once there's an Isser De Araisa created, that will never disappear. Avlach says Rav in our case, there was no Isser De Araisa. Zika De Rabbanan. There was only a Zika which is Din De Rabbanan, and therefore that Din De Rabbanan could potentially fall away afterwards. And here is the case that we are discussing. Here we go. Ruvain and Shimon Levi. Shimon Levi dies. So now what's the status with Rachel and Leo? Says the Gemara. If Rachel dies first, Ruvain can marry Leo. If Leo dies first, then Ruvain can marry Rachel. Here we have Rabbi Yechanan. Says Rabbi Yechanan, no, we got to take it in order. Mesa Shnia, then Mutter Bar Yishayna. Havel Mesa Yishayna, it's Asar Bishnia. Now we'll follow it through and hopefully it'll become perfectly clear. What happens when Shimon dies? Ruvain is allowed to do Yibim to Rachel. But then when Levi dies, is Ruvain allowed to do Yibim to Leo? No, that's called Achois, Ziku Kasa, as we've been discussing the whole time. There's a Zika, there's a connection between Ruvain and two sisters. Achois, their sisters, Ziku Kasa, via Zika, and they are going to be forbidden. So therefore, if now Leia dies, now Leia dies, now Ruvain is Mutter to Rachel. Why is Ruvain not Mutter to Rachel? Because look up top. Because what happened before, that when Shimon died, there was a moment, the original Shas Nefila from Ruvain to Rachel was Beheter. There was a potential for Yibam. They lost that potential from Yibam when the second brother died. But because the original potential for Yibam, so now later when Leia dies, Ruvain could actualize the Yibam with Rachel. But if the other way around, if Ru- Rachel dies, could Ruvain do Yibam to Leia? Of course not, says Rabbi Yechon, because there was never a moment of Hatter. And here you see the case continuing. Like we just said on the left side, that if Leia dies, then Ruvain cannot marry if Leia, if, Ru- well, okay, they, don't, mm, they just changed the case over here. They just changed the case over here. I think it's clear, so we don't really have to go into this. But but what happened over here is that if Rachel dies, if Rachel dies on the right side of your screen, then Leia is usher to Yibam. Why? Because at the moment of Nefil, right? Yeah, that's what we just said. Excuse me. If Rachel dies, yes, the Leia is usher to Yibam because at the Leia was never a mutter. Whereas the opposite of Leia dies and Rachel is mutter be Yibam. Exactly what we just said. Very, very clear. And we're going to conclude with a kasha. Eisve asked the Gemara, Rabbi Yisrael Chanina, the Rabbi Yechanan, Arba Achin Beis Ben Nisui and the Beis Achayus. Their four brothers, two of them, are married to two sisters. Who Beis Ben Nisui and Beis Achayus, and they die. 
Why can you not do Yibum? One do Chalitza to the other. But every generally got either Chibam Meshadur of Menesar Vechazra Vehotra. And let the other one be as if there was a Hetter to start off with. And Tachsela Teri Shaina. And therefore she go back to the original Hetter. We'll say the case again. But I'm Raleigh. Achaya Zaini Odeh Anlo taught this Mishnah Mishanan. Vehlei Malei Mal Chalitza Znami Dikdani Chalitza Zcharda. But it only do one Chalitza. Chalitza is in the plural Kedani. Vehlei Malei Mal Chalitza Zcharda. Zalma. Re'elu Kedani. We'll pick it up from this Kasha. Bisiyat Dishmaya. And the next.